Hello? Hi. Alright, everything appears to be working. Okay. One moment. Sorry, one second here. So yeah, we're good to go. Just wanted okay. to make sure because we've had so many problems in the past yeah. that it almost ran completely smoothly. It's still probably not quite as smooth as last time for our opening, but still not bad. Cool. Because there was that little hiccup when we lost you, lost you in the room. Yeah. I think I would just press the wrong button. <laughs> I you panicked. hit disconnect instead of volume up. I panicked. <laughs> I should, press, like, I should press something. Ah, 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 disconnect. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> so, how are you doing? Tired. I'm tired today. Uh, any reason? My... I don't know. I, well, I guess I'm still sick. That must be the thing. It would be pretty weird for me to only be sick for like two or three days. That's not usually how it works for me. No, but that would be like a perfect way for it to work. It was just long enough to keep us from going to to, to miss the end of summer. <laughs> I just, I stayed inside during the last couple of days of summer, and that kind of sucked. Oh, I mean, it's still not that bad, you know. It's it's not you know it's not like sitting around smoking weed with Marion is unpleasant. So that's, that's <laughs> I can't exactly say that I had a bad time, but but you could have had a better cool. but you could have had a better time. Yeah, it would have been pretty cool to go to uh, the water park. We might still go. I mean, they're they're inland, so they get good weather and it's warm there. So maybe we'll we'll go there. It's Why not? Uh, Mar Marion today was like, yeah, I have like I have like extra money. Like rent is due, and I can pay rent like twice. <laughs> that is always lovely when that happens. <clears throat> Yeah, and it's pretty... To be honest, I don't know how the hell they've done it either. <laughs> I was pretty concerned that uh, that I've been, you know, smoking ridiculous amounts of marijuana. But um, apparently apparently you, can, apparently you can do that and have extra money for rent. Well, it, it turns out that I may have spent $100 well, of my rent money. <laughs> well, I mean, not not you, but, but, but they can. Yeah, Marion has the extra money. Yeah. But, but yeah, like I like I was talking today. So I I checked my bank account this morning, uh, and it's the end of the month, right? So tomorrow, most likely, the bank is gonna or the the rent is gonna post to my account. So it needs to have t almost twelve hundred dollars in it. And um, I noticed that uh, I have eighty two dollars in it. That's frightening. <laughs> And uh, and I definitely did not spend that money. I mean, it might be irresponsible enough to spend. Well, I think I I think I just forgot. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed that I spent some rent money. <laughs> that was it dumb. Happened. You lost <laughs> track of your money. Well, it's it's a good thing too because uh, the I I was like. I nearly bought that dress, <laughs> and I didn't. <laughs> really good that you didn't. Yeah. I was like, well, you know, if I'm like $50 short on rent, that's not a terrible thing. But, no, I would have been, that would have been terrible. I would have been like $200 short. So that's... There's that's a big difference big. between 50 and 200, uh, 150, in fact. Especially the after I was a hundred dollars debt, <laughs> I spent an additional hundred dollars. <laughs> it's such a nice dress, though. Oh, God. They still, it's still in stock. I don't know if I can squeeze into an extra small, but probably if it's still. I mean, I still don't have a, enough money to buy it, so we'll have to wait and see if it's still available by that time. But maybe they can special order it for you. Maybe. I don't know. It seems to be like uh, like it's one of those fancy, like I don't know if it's a home boutique thing or something like that. What is it? It's this website, uh, BlameBetty.com. Okay. 
I don't want to tell anyone the name of the dress because I don't want them to buy it unless they're going to buy it for me. <laughs> you just suddenly get a mystery dress in the mail. It's like, but I didn't give my address to anyone or my full name. <laughs> How did you find me? I, you know, I wouldn't find... complain. Yeah, you know, finding me and give to give me things. This is this is something I can really get behind. Yes, but then that could easily turn into stalkerish behavior. If they're buying me things, <laughs> I'm gonna think real. I'm gonna think real hard about the pros and cons of the situation, and then be like, no, actually, this is. This is pretty weird. <laughs> yeah, I, I got to say, I, I've, I've had a stalker twice, and neither time. You think it's fun until it happens to you, and then it's not. It's like this yeah. is just creepy and awful, and I don't care if you're giving me things. This is not, this is not okay. Or the value of the things you're giving me is going to have to significantly increase. Even then, I've, I'm still just, no. It's true. What the hell am I talking about? I don't give like, a shit about the value of things. <laughs> <laughs> you bought me a pen? Oh, this is awesome. I love it. <laughs> it was. It's a $5 pen, Jessica. Oh, it's cool. You found this pen for $5? <laughs> <laughs> and you can track down nice things. Oh, man, this dress is so awesome. It's the rumor has it dress on blamebetty.com. I'm going to go buy it. Not <sighs> because I can wear it, just because. And then give it to me. <laughs> or let me wear it every now and then. You know, we, this, we'll, we'll be sure to be explicit about who actually owns it, despite whoever wears it. I learned that lesson recently. Oh, yes, yes. I remember you <laughs> learned that lesson. We'll write that down. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get a lawyer. Notarize it, everything. Yeah, notarize it, yeah. Yeah. Let the record show we, we, can we that on the, this we, day... We can get the peop- Why don't we get the people from Notary Publics to do it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because you found that show. <laughs> My name change stuff should be coming back. Oh, right. Any day. <clears throat> All right. Be, when, cool. when do you think that'll be coming? Uh, well, um, my friend just got hers... And I remember when she said that she did hers, I was like, fuck, like, everybody's getting their name. Like, she got hers, yeah, and I think, like, two or or four, maybe, other people got their names changed at the same time. And I was like, damn it, I am doing this. So, um, I feel like it was probably, it's probably, knowing me, it was probably a week after she did hers. I'm a little so surprised. she should, should little, be getting it next week, I'm guessing. I'm a little bit surprised that you hadn't done yours yet. Well, it's actually st- something I started in the fall of last year, and, and then just um, got lazy and forgot about it. Well, got a little distracted. <laughs> Didn't really have the time or the energy to deal with that kind of stuff. Like I have to, like, geez, you know, like I have to go to the police station and right fuck. because it's not as simple as it is in Ontario, where it's just fill out some papers, mail it in, and away you go. Yeah, I had to get my fucking fingerprints lot, taken. It's, it's a lot more complicated here. Yeah, which is stupid. And I mean, I well, I guess it makes sense, you know. Like people are changing. The, I I don't know. Like what? It's it's annoying, and it shouldn't cost any money. That's the thing. It should yeah. be free. Uh, or you know what? Maybe or it shouldn't be free. One. It shouldn't be like four hundred dollars. <laughs> you know, it should like, be. It should be like I don't know in in MMO games where it's like your first change is free and then any change after that you can't change for six months and then anything after that it's going to cost you. Yeah, actually that's a pretty good idea. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because you know in case you get named Moon Unit or Raffle Copter McChicken Pants or you Blanket. Know. Yeah. Yeah. Blanket Jackson. Yeah, or you know. <laughs> the wrong gender <laughs> that's that that too. that's the other advantage <laughs> yeah. i'll be getting that in in a week and that'll be that'll be cool man that will be pretty cool my name will be officially jessica james jared it's gonna be neat i'm still really kind of disappointed that my name alliterates and sounds so awesome because it would be pretty cool to change my name to christina hitchens yeah, see, your your name alliteration there, I mean, that that's... You, you could be a Marvel character. Oh, 
It's, I know, right? Well, of course, <laughs> I remember thinking too. Like, I was like, what would be a better middle name than James? Because it's just my dad's name, you know. Yeah. And, and um, you know, like Marion had uh, had Jane in their name for a little while. Um, I don't know if technically they still, but anyways, um, I, I have Riley in mine. Oh yeah, cool. That's kind of weird. That would be pretty weird for me. <laughs> to have Riley's name. True, but that was like what my mom was gonna call me if I had been. Yeah, so mm. um, I ended up using that name. Right, right. right. I was just oh, like, well, I'll grab that. It's pretty. So. Yeah. But yeah, so I was thinking of, of Jane for a little while. And then, of course, I was like, oh, man, you know what would be really good? Jones. Man, that sounds great. Jessica Jones. Yeah. Wow. Why does that sound so awesome? Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> that is a person. That is a character. Yes. And I was like, well, you know, I mean, I don't know. I have a have a few things in common with Jessica Jones. So just a few. Yeah, mostly it, it crossed my mind. I was like, well, you know, I could, you know, like it. It's just instead of the whiskey, it's it's marijuana and cigarettes. So, well, not cigarettes, tobacco, cigars. So that's better. Keeping it classy. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it. I remember. Uh, <laughs> I remember too. Um, I was watching How I Met Your Mother a long time ago. And of course I instantly fell in love with Robert Shabatsky. Wanted to want very much wanted to be Robert Shabatsky. I remember the the um I think it was when she and Barney were going out or, or when Barney was like, Hey, wow, I suddenly realized you're really awesome. But she had she was sitting there with a glass of red wine and, and a cigar and I'm like I'd like to be that girl. <laughs> So I've been kind of working on my, my cigar aficionado ness. God, they're terrible. <laughs> they're just the worst. I've had them maybe once or twice. Not fun. I, I don't know. It's like people smoke these and like to enjoy them because they're they're good. Like what? That they're so yeah. harsh. Yeah, I know. Like it's God, just the the tobacco is just like it's just so dense. It's so unyielding. It's. Yeah, it's just like, you know, I, I've smoked pure tobacco, no filters, and just rolled in papers, and yeah. that that's better than this. Yeah, it's still pretty tough, though. <laughs> I mean, I I was True. doing that with, with uh, cigars for a while when I was staying at Marion's, and, uh, and then, of course, uh, recently I've been doing that not as often, um, but I have peach prime times, you know, like I just, I just, I just have, you know, pre-rolled cigars. Uh, that are cigarette sized. The Americans, they're pioneers. <laughs> <laughs> they even have like like actual filters on them too. Wow. Yeah. By the way, I know that there's a, a, a rumor, a, a a theory, if you will, that people uh suspect that um um I remember my friend uh Aaron, not not my stepbrother, the shitty one. Um the shitty Brand he was really just, anyways. <clears throat> he thought that um, that um, filters, you know, like uh, cigarette filters, would block the marijuana, the THC. So if you so if you smoke, like, cause we were, I think we were emptying out a cigarette because we ran out of papers, mm -hmm. stuffing a joint. He's like, oh, that's not gonna work. Gotta go. I I, I don't think that's how that works. I'm pretty sure it it, it doesn't block it, but I, I could be wrong. Well, I was well, you know, it it it, it does not. Uh, there doesn't appear to be any reason to suspect that. For one thing, uh, if it did, why doesn't it stop the nicotine? Um, yeah, you know, maybe I, it reduces I, the amount, but it's not like it's chemically active. It's just a bunch of cotton. And you would think it would, if it's going to reduce anything, it'll reduce the tobacco more because there's more tar. Well, uh, pretty much everything will will stick to the tar, really. Yeah. I don't. Know, I, mean, I, just, I I don't think that that's that that's the case. I mean, I don't know why you'd necessarily want to smoke marijuana with a filter. Mm. Yeah, just for the convenience, really. You, you know, know, if you're, I'm, I guess, if you're emptying out a, out a cigarette and yeah. you don't feel like making a change, but otherwise, but I mean, that's what you have one hitters went not for. Well, what I'm saying is, you know, like I think I think I did this on like a golf course, you know. Oh, okay. Well, the, yeah. th that's I can see it then. Like I, I just happened to have uh, some weed, but no rollies. And my cousin was like, um, 
want to smoke a joint? And I'm like, yes. Um, surprising everyone. And, um, yeah, he he just emptied like he didn't he didn't even hesitate. He just emptied out a cigarette, and I was just about to be like, "Whoa, you can't do that! That's drug abuse." What? And um, all right. And and yeah, he he was just like, "What the fuck are you talking about? We do this all the time." And I was like, "Oh, okay." There you go. <laughs> there it is. You heard it here first, folks. Yep. Yeah, it's important for people to know because fuck, you know. The stupid ideas. They annoy the shit out of me. Ah, You God. don't say. Yeah. <laughs> Facebook has been bleak. Mm-hmm. This whole Islamophobia way. thing. God, you know, that's something we should talk about. Sorry, sorry the, witch, the witchphobia? Islamophobia thing. Oh, fuck that. Well, well yeah, you know, that's just... There's... Because there's, cause there's uh, liberals. These touchy-feely... Like the super touchy-feely liberals. Oh. They're, they're bad. <laughs> yeah, the request of left and that whole uh, uh, bikini burka thing. Well, I mean that was ridiculous. Like I was pretty, I, I, I have to admit, I, at first I was like, "Yay, France, um, where are those bikinis?" And then I saw the picture and I was like, "Oh, France, wow, oh, this is I, this isn't what I meant. <laughs> this is what the conservatives are talking about. This is which is kind of ironic because conservatives love to morally police, but." Don't pay attention to that religion. It's different if your religion is policing your morals. I mean, it, you know, the, I hate the burkini because it's it's you know part of that you know culture of being ashamed of. But you, but you your should still body. have the right to wear it if you want to. You don't ban yes. it from places no, to be exactly. like that. But you, that's exactly the thing. The word want. The word want. Yeah. Like we need. There's no way for us to discern between those who want to wear it and those who do not. It's just like. And, it, it's just it just it's just an it's an annoying thing that uh, feminists are, are are ignoring, you know. Like we can talk about both sides of this issue. We can talk about women being able to wear whatever they want and you know wanting to cover themselves if they want to do that. That's totally cool, mm-hmm. by all means. It's when you know like not doing so results in like getting acid splash in your face and and that kind of stuff. Like at the um at the Olympics, um, you know the picture of the two volleyball players. Yep. Um. You know, I don't. Egypt is actually a surprisingly secular government, uh, but the community itself is is still pretty religious. And um, I don't know if it would be safe for the lady in the burqa to wear a bikini um, and then go back home. Um, you know? No, I, I really I don't think that would be the case. Cause, I mean, they, <laughs> they take it so they take it really seriously, and there's nothing wrong with taking yeah. it seriously, but. When you start no, telling is. people, well, <laughs> there is something wrong with taking okay, what other people me, wear serious. Well, let me finish. Okay. There's nothing wrong with taking like your beliefs seriously. That's fine. Imposing <laughs> them on imposing them on other people. I mean, I have things that I believe. Yes, that's true. I know you don't agree with some of the stuff I believe, but that's You're fine. Right. <laughs> I take it seriously to a point, and I think there's a certain limit that you should kind of hit where it's like you don't. It's not some, and that's the thing too. Is like, where do you define that limit? Mm-hmm. And I think that's, and I think that that yeah, you know, it's definitely something that you could argue until it's, you're blue in the face. It's a limit that can't be decided ahead of time. It has to be figured out on a case by case basis. Yeah, you know? exactly. I mean, something like this with like what you're gonna wear, leave it up to that person. You know, yeah. if I mean, what are we gonna do about guess, you know, like okay, so so. I, who knows? Like I don't, I don't know how often this happens. I do know that a non-zero percentage of, um, 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 I don't know the the non-racist term <laughs> of Islamic people um, in in England, um, uh, you know, think that uh, infidels should be put to death. Like this is, you know, not who, okay. Not yeah, okay. you know, and, because and it's like it's like a large percentage. Like I don't know if it's twenty or thirty percent or whatever, but you know, it's not zero. That- Point, your beliefs are going outside of yourself, right? So, and they're so, affecting other people who don't want to be affected by this. All right. Further complicating this, though, is okay. what you know. So, okay, so this this family has moved from you know some fundamentalist place and and has immigrated to um, uh, you know England or where, wherever um, or Canada or the U.S. or fuck cares Germany. Um, 
would not be kind of, that actually well that is happening and it is pretty ironic um <laughs> <laughs> in a, in in the best possible way, in the yeah humanity kind of way, <laughs> like they're I think they're one of the number one destinations for Syrian refugees, mm -hmm. which is like way to way to way to go. Yeah. Anyways, um, right. So so you know, family has gone there, you know, maybe for some good reason to to get away from the war or whatever. Um, and but you know, they still were raised with these you know fundamentalist um, beliefs and you know they can't really be blamed for that they they're you're basically going to believe whatever everybody around you believes because that's what you know generally encourages the most happiness yep. um, then you have people that you can connect and relate to yeah um, you know unless you happen to be something fundamentally unlike everybody else like I don't know gay or trans um, in which case you tend you know. to you know automatically just stick out but then eventually, uh, I mean, e either you kind of succumb to that awfulness or you just kind of learn to embrace that and then find other people who also stick out and just kind of migrate together. Well, as, as a matter of fact, um, uh, m the Canadian embassy will uh, evacuate people um, who are under risk of being um, hurt or killed by, uh, you know, their family or people in their community uh, because they're gay. Or trans. Oh wow! Um, yeah, a few times. Uh, I've seen them a couple of times in the once, I th once or twice in the Ask Transgender subreddit, and uh, once or twice in the um, Legal Advice subreddit, which is a good subreddit. Yeah, that's, that's good to hear. That's but that's Canada. I know, right? Like we're 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 not dicks. <laughs> well, we've come a long way from sending people back in a boat who are just like, "Come help us, help us." No, we're not getting involved. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. Go find somewhere Everyone else. did that. <laughs> that one's that was kind of an uh kind of a dick move on our part. Yeah. Well, you know, you just don't want so many Jews around. <laughs> um with that being said, if you uh if you happen to have any uh complaints or uh, hate mail or <laughs> notes <laughs> or anything send them to A R I A at <laughs> um, you know, send them to uh, Red Laser the three. <laughs> um, you can send any love notes and comments and suggestions, and whatnot, to Rain Essery. <laughs> oh, feel free to send the hate mail this way too. <laughs> and we have some fun ripping into people. <laughs> uh, or of course, you can send it to Darby Dragons at PrimalSkinsMedia.ca. Uh, earlier in the show tonight, I'm sure you weren't watching because. You, you don't seem to. Um, I was making a comment that I'm going to screen cap you when you do that, and okay. that's going to become like the new picture whenever the email goes up. It's just going to be like your face doing that on the screen with the email. <laughs> <Yay. laughs> it's going to be a full graphic. Woo! It's source. Most, mostly, mostly woo. But let's do it on the day where I've done full makeup. <laughs> well, no, because season one starts next week. So oh, the new graphics got to be ready for then. So. Forever that face will be that face right there. That <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Everything's recorded. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nah, you'll be okay. I think so. Um. All right, where were we? Now that I've gotten that out of the way, and uh, the last thing I remember saying is the juice. <laughs> and the hate mail. Can no. I'm just <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, right. We were talking about uh, World, uh, mm, World War II. I remember II we were we talking about. Um, so we got, we, we tangented to that situation yes. with my hypothetical, um, uh, you know, no fault of their own fundamentalist family moving to somewhere with a radically different culture, let's say. Um, and, um, I mean, you know, it's like, it's, it's, it's a question of what, you know, like what, what exactly are we going to do about that situation? Um, you know, if, if there's some Christian family um, telling their daughter that, you know, she can't learn how to drive because she's a woman and women aren't supposed to do that. Mm -hmm. um, you, that would be a, that would be a thing, you know, Pe now, people would be talking about that. That would be on all of the shows. See, and this is where I'm going with that, where <clears throat> like, that's not okay. But if there's a Christian woman who's just 
he's just like, no, no, I can't drive because I'm a woman. I'm not supposed to. Yeah. That's, I mean, that that's on them. That's yeah, th- yeah. they're imposing their own beliefs onto themselves. Yeah. Totally. Which is which is completely within their rights to do so. I'm okay with that. Like, if you want to believe something stupid and silly, and yeah. you want to inf- you want to impose those restrictions onto yourself, you, you shouldn't. Here here's a better way, but yeah. that that's your prerogative. That that's yeah. up to you. But the Absolutely. moment that you start you know, doing that to other people, like, well, no, you can't drive because you're a woman too. It's like, well, no, that's not my beliefs. You can believe what you want, and that. But I'm gonna be over here believing what I want. Yeah, and I mean that's certainly you know anyone who thinks anything other than that is um, what's the word uh, scientific stupid. term wrong. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like the word In- stupid, moronic, incorrect. You know. <laughs> well, I like you know I like making factual arguments about. I mean, this, that's part of the it whole, depends on you know, scientifically speaking, it is in, it is wrong. <laughs> you know, like some beliefs are, or the idea that women are inferior. Wrong. wrong. So, it, you know, like, that, and that's the case for quite a lot of more. So far, I have not heard a moral quandary that can't, that, that genuinely exists. That isn't some, you know, um, um version of the trolley experiment or whatever um you know it needs like it's it just requires a certain amount of of careful thinking and and you know making sure that you're taking into account it's really just objectivism and sorry not objectivism um because that is a rand's load of hot shit it's just um um what is it called um utilitarianism um except acknowledging that that emotions are utilitarianist as well and they, they can be measured, just not as precisely, you know. There's no decimal places, which is no. pretty rough from a math perspective. But from an understanding of the world perspective, it works pro- It works pretty well. I mean, the idea of, I mean, that that's a fascinating idea to me, uh, the idea of sort of measuring one's emotions. Um, and, I mean... I mean, we can physically do that. Not for everything, but for many. No, but, I mean, we can kind of have an idea. But, again, that's very, that's, you have to go by what, it's kind of like identity. You have to go by what that person's telling you and assume that they know sort of themselves. No, you think that there's a way that you can actually measure that, that you can well, that you can measure some emotions without that. that information? Yeah, Sam Harris has talked about like cuz it's po- it's possible to Are you, you talking know, about like looking at someone's brain chemistry and measuring in that way? Is that what you're talking about? Well, measure it. I think Sam Harris was talking about using fMRI in particular to measure it. Okay, well that's a yeah. diff- that's a whole other thing. If you're doing a scan, all right. Yeah, because that like like, I mean, it's possible for, for people to to lie to themselves and to not know it, you know, mm-hmm. and um, but but the brain still knows that it's doing that. Like the, you know, fabrication comes from a particular part of the brain, and um. When people are telling the truth, that part of the brain is not active. When people are lying, that part of the brain is active. And it's like it's it's not perfect. Again, like, you know, we're dealing in confidence intervals of 80% and above instead of our nice three sigma certainties that we love so much with physics. But, you know, it's still for like almost 100% of the time, for 98, 99% of the people. It's like, yeah, so I know you really think that you love your daughter. But, you know, your belief system has made it so that you, like, you're actually afraid of your daughter because your daughter could do something awful like have sex with someone and thus disgracing you and your entire family and, um, or could get, even worse, could get raped by somebody, I think thus it's... further disgracing you. And, and then the only recourse is to uh, murder that child. <clears throat> Sounds like a good Friday night to me. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and and you know, like like at the level of the brain, you know, like there's there's that that level that sort of creative thinking is that this, the type of not thinking of avoiding thinking um, is something that we can that we can detect. I think it would be really interesting to do like a therapy session um, in an FM, uh, fMRI. Mm. Indeed, I mean, that just would be think very about the information that you would gather from that from like. If you were the therapist and you're just observing their brain, yeah, yeah, that would be very interesting. I would love to go. Uh, I would definitely just jump into an fMRI recreationally. You know, it's pretty cool. And I mean, it really, 
don't drink an FRM. Uh, don't drink an FRM. Uh, don't drink an FRM. MRI. Why am I having a hard time saying that? I also don't get it. <laughs> you said you you like to do you'd like to jump into a fMRI recreationally, um, so I'm looking at it as if like a drug, but like don't drink. Oh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> if I have well, to explain it. I, I I dropped the ball on that joke. Well, I am probably but not, but not, sick not, and tired. <laughs> not, I'm sure not everyone didn't get it. <laughs> yeah, everyone's just like, oh. as long as somebody got it, that's really all that matters. <laughs> and you know what? i you know, so long as you got it and found it entertaining, that's I, you know, who gives a fuck? I do. It is nice when because, other people because laugh. I live to entertain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If Indeed. I can make other people laugh, that makes me happy. I shouldn't place so much value on that. <laughs> oh, it's it, it really is great. I'm glad that my sense of humor is coming back. My sense of humor kind of died there for a while. You, you, I didn't notice at all. <laughs> now, I'm nope. not sure if you're being sarcastic. I'm being sarcastic. Okay, you, so you did notice that my sense of humor died? Yes. Yeah. Really? Wow, interesting. Well, you yeah. were really different there for a bit. It was understandable, yeah. but I mean, it did make it kind of tough, although I, I did try. Okay. Yeah, it was since you did, January was a tumultuous time. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't really around January, but um, I mean January for me was just awful. Yeah. Oh, that was just not a good month. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty bad for me too. I gotta say. <laughs> it's like, what's well, that you have? I don't. Well, I don't know. I mean, I got to I got to go to the island with Marion, and that was pretty sweet. <laughs> go. But I did that because I was thinking of leaving my fiance, so that kind of sucked. And I was in Montreal, only to discover that when I come back, I'm going to be homeless. You know, right. half an hour before surgery. Yeah, so, you know. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> good but, timing. yeah. And so, I mean, that, that, was, that, was, that was a thing. Yeah, that sucks. But, yeah, no, for you, like, April, May. Yeah. <laughs> that, was definitely, that was definitely when things came to a head, that's for sure. I think I moved out in June. Yeah. Was it June or was it July? Um, I think it was June. I think so, yeah. Yeah, I think so. I know I was still there in May. Yeah, I think it was June. Actually, yeah, yeah, it was because, um, yeah, at the beginning of June. Did you? Was yeah, that sounds it? about right. Yeah. Uh, it would have been the very end of May and then... Oh, no, 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 it was the end of June because Canada Day weekend. Right. It was around Canada Day. We had to move in a few days, or a day or two early, right. just in ca just because Canada Day, so that we could make sure that we were there. Right, right. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So yeah. Around, but it wasn't until June that we actually started talking more. Yeah. Yeah. You're well, I, you know, I was I was definitely like shit. I actually pretty much I I liked talking to Rain. <laughs> <laughs> Should have made more of an effort. Oh, that's right. I was too busy. Sometimes Whatever. it's hard though to like to be like communicating with roommates on a regular basis like that. Yeah, it's because you're around all the time, so it's just like it makes it. Uh, yeah. you just kind of take that for granted, and then it's yeah. just, like when you're not there, it's like oh well, now I have to like make an effort to do it. To yeah, talk. yeah. I definitely, I definitely agree. And living with someone is 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 very different for sure, which is weird. <laughs> <laughs> I think I wonder if that's also why I don't hear from uh, the friends that I made in the apartment very often. I hope so. <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah, it could be. I I mean, like that's also the case with my stepbrother. He lives literally directly across the street, and I like I've been to his place like since I've moved here, like like six times maybe. Mm -hmm. I've been here for. It's because you live within Six close years. proximity, so it's yeah, he's just always he's just kind of always around. Although, when I quit smoking, I imagine I'm going to be spending more time with him, probably to his chagrin. <laughs> Eventually, get sick and tired of you. He's got he has two younger sisters now. <laughs> that might be a bit of an adjustment. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. Speaking of, are you excited for uh, the end of next month? For surgery? Yes. Something like that, yeah. 
Yeah, I'm I'm excited. That's for You're sure. Nervous. I, I definitely I definitely want a vagina. That's that's the thing that I keep reminding myself about. <laughs> vagina factory. Yeah, I definitely. Want. Uh, but jeez. Have you been researching the surgery? Oh, uh, well, I already kind of have. Um, I mean, I made a post in in the Ask Transgender subreddit the other day about it, and it wasn't. I mean, it wasn't bad. <laughs> like I mentioned smoking, and a couple people were like, "You should quit smoking right now. I, you're not even supposed to smoke while you're on HRT." I quit right away, and I'm like, "What the fuck kind of person are you? Just qu just quitting smoking?" What? Because <laughs> there's like like a five percent <laughs> increased chance of clots. Come on, you're not I mean, a real if, person. If, if you keep yourself generally healthy, you can get away with it. It's like the whole thing with drinking too. You're not technically really supposed to drink. It's like that. That's nonsense. No, that, that's not happening. Um, I got yeah. an HRT, and within a month or two, I was drinking pretty heavily again. Yeah, yeah. I, I, my... I was also going through a breakup, but yeah. yeah <laughs> And My smoking habits and... did not change at all. Although, I did learn, and see, this is the thing, like, this this, <laughs> this is the problem. Because, what do they tell you? They tell you, you might die. And I'm like, oh, that sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then I read online, oh, it's it's a nicotine uh, agonist. It, it actively interferes with the body's uptake uh, of, of, of estrogen. And I'm like, oh fuck! <laughs> I gotta quit smoking. <laughs> That's so, what I should have told you from the start. Yeah, <laughs> See, it would have made a surprisingly big difference, I suspect. It'd be like, at least every time I would be like, man, it's fucking with my estrogen. See, and that was the thing for me too. Is that that's the big thing they used for me it was like, it, it, it might kill you. I'm like, mm -hmm. so, what, what, what's perfect? The, what, what's the point? I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. I was worried I was gonna have to wait for lung cancer to kill me. And it seems like it's going to take, you know, like, once you get lung cancer, you don't just die, but a clot! You're done! <laughs> Bam! It depends on the clot. True. That's true. But, you know, it, <laughs> it's your... At that point, you're going to be able to get federal marijuana, and at that point, you're you're set. What more? It's like, well, you you're to? terminal, so, you know, here you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you can't use the left side of your body, so... We're gonna let you smoke weed on our dollar. Because, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I mean, that we're... sucks. <laughs> and then they start taking a close look into why. It's like, oh, you did this to yourself. I see. Yeah. Well, well of then, course, that you know, changes then, things. Then you're on HRT and still smoking, and then you just get a second one, and there you can't use the other side of your body. It just like balances out. Now you just get to hang out and chill. It's gonna be great. Yeah, but then what if the person who's looking after you won't won't like, won't give you anything to smoke? Yeah, that would be suck. That would suck. Or give it to. Sure. I don't know that you would necessarily. Well, you should still be able to. So. Yeah, if I'm if I'm in but maybe, breathing. Maybe they just give you like permanent, you know, painkillers forever. That would work too. Maybe I don't know. Like, give me a forever morphine drip. Cool, I'm okay with that. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd give it a shot. Morphine's wonderful. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Depending on what they give you, you might end up with like a few days of morphine. That could be. And then Bad. they give you oxys after. Yeah, I've heard about that. <laughs> Those are great. I'm like lying yeah. there trying to update people. Like this is maybe the day of surgery, the day after, the day of, I think. Mm -hmm. So that night I'm lying in bed trying to update people and I'm like texting away. And then I just kind of, I come to, and then I like my fingers on like the send button and then I push send. And then I notice the timestamp. Mm -hmm. An hour has passed between <laughs> when I sent that message and when I got the last one. Like, oh, like, why did it take so long for you to reply with okay? I'm like, <laughs> I passed out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and, then it, and then it just kept happening because there was like when they sent me that message, there was like forty-five minutes in between the other one. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it was. Um, it was. That was. That was pretty brutal. I'm that's definitely looking forward to not being awake. That's for sure. Right, because you're going to request me to fully put out. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. But I mean, even afterwards, like, like, 
you know, I was like, fuck, like, what am I going to do? If I can't smoke marijuana, how, how am I going to not do anything? <laughs> like, that is literally what I use it for. So You're on painkillers the entire time you're there. Yeah, I know. So don't, that, don't, don't, don't be me when and you'd be like, when you're in recovery, you'd be like, yeah, I decrease my painkillers by like half. <laughs> I don't know. I might. I, I definitely, I don't want to get addicted to anything actually. Or addi- I think, I forget if I told him to reduce it by half or if I told him just to stop it all together. <laughs> I forget which one. Like, are you sure? I'm like, yeah. Like, okay. <laughs> and then they did. And it, like, it wasn't that bad. Hmm, okay. Um, I've I've had a lot worse pain than what I went through there. Yeah. But um, I do think it got the worst, and I was pretty good about keeping it down low, just because I didn't, I don't always handle um, strong painkillers very well. Mm-hmm. So sometimes it makes me sick. Yeah. And so yeah. I kind of didn't want that either. Also, <clears throat> to me, it was a competition with everyone else there to be like, no, 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 I can get through this without painkillers. I- I'm good. Like. Like, I'm going to do better than everyone else here, and I don't have any painkillers. See, this is why I'm glad oh, I'm not awesome. competitive. <laughs> like, Go for it, Rain. Oh, right. I'll just have yours. <laughs> You've you, got you could, this. Hmm? You you could try to, like, compete with me, but that's not a good idea. I, I don't. No, no. And that, like, Marion wanted to play video games with me the other day. Uh, Herzog's Wife for Sega. It's a game I used to play as a kid and uh, it's fun um but i don't like playing video games against other people because like the only way to win in that game is to be more annoying than they are like you can't you know it's like a, it's like um it's kind of like a moba game it's like mm-hmm. you, you build units and they amble towards the enemy base um and uh yeah like the only thing you can do is be it, you know, play the game well, you be sneaky, attack from multiple directions, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, but it's just like, I just don't want to be annoyed. <laughs> and it's, oh, you won! Yay! <laughs> oh, I won! Yay! That's fair. We were playing Toe Jam early the other day. A co-op game. Mm-hmm. That was pretty sweet. I had fun doing that. Nice. Competing is. I remember there's one time in my entire life where I was like, "No, we are winning this competition." When was that? It was when I was at the um, um, when I was going to Academy Duello, mm-hmm. and uh, there was a quarter staff tournament going on, upon in which I was a member, and uh, I think I had been, only been going for like uh, a month or two, but it just it's like a a drop-in replacement for Wing Chun, like it just it just snaps right into to Wing Chun martial arts perfectly. The quarter staff, um, plus in Wing Chun, um, there is a quarter staff form. Uh, however, it uses a ten-foot pole instead of the wussy little quarter staff, um, which I think is like seven or eight feet. Anyways, um, so yeah, so I am you know I'm in this tournament and and you know I'm a I'm a noob like I, yeah I'm pretty sure I'd been there for like less than a month. I remember being surprised that I was allowed at the tournament because I was like yeah, I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Mm-hmm. And um, and yeah I got and then I like <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention. I was just kind of you know doing the thing and responding as best as my muscles could. And uh, and then I'm like oh this is like I hear the announcer be like okay final round for the championship and and I'm like. Are they talking to us? <laughs> well, they are talking to us. I made it all the way to the finals. <laughs> Holy shit! And like, I'm finding one of the the one of the um like he's not one of the teachers, but one of the teachers' pets. Um, you know, someone who's been there for like six years or something ridiculous like that. And um and I was like, you know, I was like, oh, he's he's probably really good. Probably gonna lose. So I guess I'll just. You know, I'll try and hit him. Whatever. And then I was like, no. As a matter of fact, I bet you I'm faster than him. And, um, and yeah, I was. I was like twice as fast as that guy. <laughs> nice. Because Wing Chun is very, very fast. <laughs> really stresses the, the not being tense thing until the very end. Okay. And um, makes you fucking really, really fast. 
And That's karate? Amazing. God, karate is shit. God, it's <laughs> embarrassing. Taekwondo. God. It hurts it hurts to think that people are doing this. <laughs> people are learning these martial arts. <clears throat> and think that they're good. For sure. Um, so I think we're kind of winding down here. Okay. So sort of Can I insult my French friend first? Sure. All right, my last story okay. is um, my friend, speaking of martial arts, uh, in high school, Jean. Um, he was really annoying. <laughs> um, and um, uh, But we were friends because I was also really annoying. Um, good thing that changed. Um, it changed? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I was taking martial arts. I had been taking martial arts for five or six years at that point, And, you know, I was really lazy at it. Also, good thing that changed um and uh, and he'd been taking kempo karate for like i don't know two years or something maybe less uh he fancied himself pretty good and um you know i just like sparring with people it's fun you know and um we were sparring and um i just kicked his ass kicked his ass and he was like oh i just i just got promoted and i just want to turn him in to i'm like oh wow john that's pretty cool do you want to do some sparring and, sure do some sparring after school and and uh yeah just fucking wiped the floor he's like you know if you weren't so fast i'd be able to get you and i'm like yeah yeah bruce lee noticed that too <laughs> <laughs> how about that if you're fast people tend to not be able to get you huh yeah what do you know yeah <laughs> And the open shouldered punches, you know, the horizontal punches. God, God. Have you, have you guys just thought about body mechanics for more than 15 seconds? Okay. I think I can conclude my rant there. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, once again, thank you for tuning in to the season zero finale of Glorious Insights, which means we've kind of stopped being shitty. Um, at least as far as quality and whatnot goes. Content, on the other hand, well, it, it, my hair is. Well, I, I'm fantastic. You, on the, I, I, you have to work on your. <laughs> but, but you have your hair, so I guess it kind of balances out. Yeah, that's yeah. that's what I'm banking on. The the hair is the real star of the show. Okay, there's our title perfect. for the week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The hair is the real star of the show. I'm gonna dye my hair in a couple of weeks. You should dye it next week. Yeah. Well, no, you should die closer to surgery. I was yeah. just thinking for the season one premiere, yeah, okay. you should hit change it, but that's strictly for the show. Yeah. If you're looking at it for yourself. I was thinking for t of two weeks for surgery. Yeah, that that's good probably idea? a good idea. It oh. gives enough time because you're not supposed to die at like really close. I yeah. died mine way too close. Yeah. Like I died mine a couple days before I left. Oh, shit. <laughs> did they stain it? No, they didn't seem to care, but I did stain everything pink. Oh, of course. <laughs> Me and my damn pink. Yeah. That's probably still going to happen. <laughs> I mean, that stuff ran out of my hair. Well, no, that's right. I'm not using the, whatchamacallit. I'm using this new stuff. So. Yeah, stuff I like the stuff I have because it lasts quite a while, but it does tend to, even if you get a little bit moist, it tends to get on your hands. Yeah. Well, it, it like, you know, the tub was blood red for, like, a month. <laughs> yeah, but that's not because of your hair. I mean, blood takes a long time to get out of tubs. That's true. Bodies are even harder to dispose of, yeah. as we both know from a few months ago. Yeah, yeah. How the clone got away, we'll never find out. But <sighs> yeah, that's still do? a problem. That bothers me where it is. That's yeah. I mean, at least we caught the second one, but we should check at eggs. They might be there. Mm. <sighs> Perhaps. Maybe. <laughs> Be. There was also that. You know, we could have used the VCR as bait. But... <laughs> yeah. You know, <laughs> I gotta say, before we wrap up, um, there, there, I, I gotta. It's a shame that you weren't able to make the screening. Yeah. On Sunday, because yeah. I have to think that there would have been something really cathartic about seeing that VCR being smashed on a giant fucking screen. <laughs> true. <laughs> it's true. I, I, I mean. I was actually sick, it turned out. <laughs> I, I, well, but, um, I didn't know that you were Getting to see sick. it destroyed three times. Yeah. Because but, the first time is like at the first, they were like, oh, we missed it. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> You're going to have to throw it from the roof again. <laughs> I 
I mean, it so does I feel have... kind of out of. It almost feels out of place, but I mean, you can kind of. Yeah, sort of, I was able to kind of connect it by being like, well, you know, maybe he was just angry at her, and then like the way she stormed out, was... so he throws the VCR at her, but misses. Yeah. Because you're like right there, so it's yeah. you know the way he throws it is is the problem. Like he appears to be like yeah. allowing it to take flight. Yes. You know, but that was because the first two shots utterly failed. Um, I I don't. <laughs> it honestly, it was pretty funny. <laughs> it would have been funny the way <laughs> the way that it did because like the two of them were talking about you know like trying to coordinate the throw for quite a long time, mm -hmm. and and they seem to finally understand and agree. And she throws it wrong. <laughs> see, like, I could see, like, if he had the VCR in one hand, and yeah. then kind of, like, threw it, like, really, really yeah. angry at you. Yeah. And then, like, the camera follows it, <clears throat> and then it, like, lands near you, but you sort of jump out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. Then, like, like that would have made a lot of sense. I've been like, oh, I understand what's going on here, instead of having to force yeah. an explanation. That was definitely what I wanted to do, for sure. I also wanted to, um, like, in the, uh, when, in the scene when everyone brings out their weapons... Yeah. Um, I wanted my sister to like be more, like still be not exactly on my side, but to be looking more suspiciously at her parents and kind of moving away from them and towards me a little bit more to also yeah, like, you know, like the sister thing. If she had sort of twisted or shifted a few steps towards you and then yeah. had just kind exactly. of angled the body ever so slightly. Yep. And then had just been looking at them, then that would have sort of conveyed a message as opposed to everyone for themselves. Yeah. But I love how everyone has weapons and you have like just a small knife and fork. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I forgot to bring the sword that I was going to use. Um, so, so yeah, we decided to just use the plastic knife and fork. I'm almost thinking it's like, is she going to eat one of them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is, is this a cannibal thing? And, uh, and like, uh, the other thing is too, I, I should have had a little monologue. Um, like, when I throw the. the remote yeah um i was like i i said you know screw this family and and they kept on being like no you need to retake that they didn't that didn't sound good and i'm like well you know you really? could have because also just done like, it on like adr you could hmm? you could have done it separately too like just done the throw the remote and, and then walk away and then just recorded that particular uh voice yeah, separately and, and put that in and we did a couple, like, I don't know, maybe I'm maybe I'm just a really bad at acting. It, it's possible. Like, I had, like, four different things to think about at the time, and having to concentrate on my were, voice was... To, yeah. to be fair, um, I mean, directing and acting is hard. Uh, there was this little short that I did years and years and years and years ago called Walking the Distance uh, that I wrote, directed, edited, and uh, produced, unknowingly produced. The producing credit went to my best friend. Um, mm. I didn't know I was producing. Mm. But... Um, one of our leads ended up quitting like mm. three days before shooting right. and everyone had like booked off time and everything. We booked off three days to do this right? Um, and everything was set to go. So it's like, okay, either we don't do it. And I tried getting anyone I had extra to, to sort of, I was like, well, do you want to do this? Do you want to do this? No one else was available. Mm -hmm. It's like, mm -hmm. okay, so either we don't do it or I play the lead. Right. The leads kind of is, is somewhat based off of me. You yeah, know, it's taken flight from there, so you know I, I should be able to do this. This this, this wouldn't be that hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it turns out directing and acting is fucking difficult. Yeah, because you think about you're thinking about so many things while you're acting that you can't really act. Yeah, yeah, and like seem to be the case. When I even now when I look back at it, I can see the moments where I'm not thinking about anything but acting, and I'm just yeah. in the moment in the character. And it's like, okay, I can act. I just have to only be acting. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You know, if yeah, you're I trying think to do the anything case. else, it's there. But I mean, that's too, like, I think you would have been worse if you didn't have our amazing DOP. What? I think oh. you would have been worse if you didn't have our amazing director of photography. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. I mean, yeah, I mean, she definitely, you know, pretty much did the whole thing, really. Like, I was, I, yeah. You know, she was she was thinking about smart things like camera angles and stuff. Which I mean, that's really the DOP's job. Yeah. yeah. So, so she's, yeah, she's definitely, doing her job. I'm definitely glad uh, she was there for sure. Uh, yeah, it's it, it was yeah it was really hard to act, and you know it's self conscious about my voice. Although it sounds, I think I can't remember exactly, but I remember when I was listening to it, I didn't my voice didn't sound bad. So that's good. no no your voice sounds great. Yeah. Well, that's good. It doesn't sound great in my head. 
No one's voice sounds good in their head. Yeah, I keep trying to remind myself that. It's not working. <laughs> <laughs> it rarely does. Yeah. All right, but we should probably wrap this up as much as I like to keep talking production because I can go on that about that. I can go on about that for hours. Yeah. As you know. <laughs> yeah. So if you have any love notes, hate mail, comments, questions, concerns, suggestions, criticisms, all that kind of stuff, feel free to send them to at Rainessery. And at Red Laser with the three. And if Twitter is really not your thing, which I don't know why it wouldn't be, but if it's not for some reason, feel free to send it on over to tharvdragons at primalscreensmedia.ca by email. Alrighty, so that, thank you again, thank you for watching, uh, well, all of our, uh, all of our Season Zero stuff, um, mm -hmm. and bearing with us while we try to figure our shit out, get mm -hmm. everything together. Season 1 starts next week, there is no break, um, and we'll be back around, oh, and next week it moves to a different time, mm -hmm. uh, or it moves to a different day, Thursday. Yeah. Uh, it'll, that is the current new home. And that has absolutely nothing to do with the uh, WoW expansion uh, of Legion releasing this week. Not at all. None whatsoever <laughs> at all. It has nothing to do with raids and such. Nope. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, that'll do it for Glorious Insights. Uh, oh, and we're also up on YouTube um, properly. All, the, all six episodes are up. Uh, episode 7 will upload later this week, or early next week, but probably early this week since they export really easily now. Hey. Oh my god, it's so easy. Nice. There's like no battling, there's no frame sync loss or anything. Nice. The quality's actually decent. Nice. Cool. Yeah, it's a, it's a joy to do it, so it's like, ah, oh, this is this is how it should be. Yeah. Although my files are like 20 gigs. Um, <laughs> Shit. Well, it's because it's, three hour, it's a three hour show. Yeah, right, right. So... Uh, That's and not I record bad. the whole thing, so it's not that bad. Yeah. Uh, it'll be more starting next week when the quality begins to rise. Oh. Perfect. So I'm Rain. And I'm Jessica. And have yourself a great night. And stick around. There's more coming on Primal Streams. Bye, everybody. Bye. See you later, Rain. See you. Bye. <laughs>